Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and these are the features and sound of MacDSP DE555 DSR. So here I have some dialogue and I'm just going to refine it ever so slightly using DE555. This is what it sounds like without any processing. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. So the first thing I'm going to do is engage listen so that I can just home in on the particular frequency that I'm looking for. speakers set up in the studio so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. Okay I think I'm just going to settle around 7k6 there. I do have the option to go for a not type filter as well and I have the focus control which allows me to adjust the bandwidth like so. I'm finding though that the HPF shape is working for me and also when I turn up focus I get this resonant peak as well which is useful so we can get that overreaction if I need it. Now what's interesting about DE555 is it has thresholdless operation so it uses intelligent signal analysis and that means that even with uncompressed audio like this I still get consistent gain reduction. So let's listen to what we've got. Yeah I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. So I have about 6 dB of gain reduction going on on my S's, which is a good start. And if I turn up the range control, you can hear the lisping starting to come in. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. So very obvious destruction there, but that can be useful for setting up the release times as well. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so I just kind of have a, a voice. So we're getting that kind of pumping effect, so I'm just going to pull that back. Seems to be working well. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. I can get more subtle results if I use the HF only mode, and that just creates a band split and dips everything from the key frequency upwards. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. So I can turn these controls right the way up. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so... So not quite as destructive as before. However, I'm just going to roll these back because I'm preferring the wideband mode at the moment. Yeah, I have a pair of speakers set up in the studio, so I just kind of have a, a voice of God situation. So the most common use for DSs is on voices. However, you can still use them on other things. So I'm using DE555 just to remove some fret squeaks on an acoustic guitar. This is without and with. <laughs> So that is with no processing on it whatsoever, but as soon as I bring in DE555, we have a slightly smoother result with less squeak. In this case, I'm using the band pass filter, and again, with focus turned all the way up so that I'm kind of zeroing in, uh, and in listen mode, we can hear what's going on. DE555 also has a shift control as well. Now, what this means is that the DSing will happen at a frequency other than the trigger frequency. And that can be useful for certain uses. And we have an octave of adjustments in either direction if we need it. So those are the features and sound of MacDSP DE555. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.